Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds and I'm here with another indie review. This time from the house of Happy Land, Happy Land's newest, it's Happy Land Bad Time Charlie. I just want to hone in for a second on the color of this juice. It's like this really nice warm ambery color. It's pretty gorgeous, but let's go ahead and talk about the notes. And I want you to know that I looked at the notes after I already uh, kind of smelled it and had an instant thought of what it smelled like. So I'm gonna tell you about that right after I go over the notes. So the notes are saffron, peppers, select spices, ylang ylang, tuberose, amber, neroli, patchouli, and ambergris. So the only thing he told me before I got this, and I actually didn't go to the page to read the notes before, cause I was like, okay, I had already decided what I thought it was gonna smell like. It's a spicy, ambery, tuberose, patchouli fragrance. So I think I read tuberose and immediately thought, oh, it's like a spring floral fragrance. That is not what I get here. So the minute I sprayed this, it transported me and I got a scent memory from it. So this reminded me of, um, uh, an old family friend who was a pipe smoker. It is very authentic pipe smoke. So last I had, you know, a year ago or something, maybe more, smelled the fragrance and I was like, oh, that smells like that authentic pipe smoke. This is even more like that. But not only like the pipe smoke that and this old family friend used to uh, kind of smoke whenever we were over, my family was over at uh, their family's house, but it was like, kind of the, the scent memory from then, cause this has this nice little sweetness to it. It's like this sweet, ambery fragrance that has a touch of smokiness, not 100% sure where it's coming from. And yeah, when you go and you smell it, you're gonna get the florals, but it's not like a, it's not this like springtime floral fragrance. It's the florals that you get and kind of richer fragrances that kind of exude class. So to me, this is an incredibly classy fragrance with a bit of a throwback feel, but I wouldn't call it like an old school fragrance or anything like that, but it does have that throwback feel. And in that, it actually is where kind of that class is coming from. So to me, this is a very classy and I think that it definitely shocked me because again, I read tuberose and I was like, oh, this is a tuberose fragrance. You kind of expect something tuberose uh, scents that are tuberose dominant typically have this kind of like sweet bubblegummy feel. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And there's kind of a certain scent profile that goes with that. I was thinking more in the Paisley Dreams category because that one instantly I smelled tuberose as soon as I smelled that one. Not at all. This is just like a rich, classy, uh, definitely evening time fragrance that has this really nice, I'm telling you the sweet ambery feel in this is gorgeous. The florals are just everything, the way everything balances is gorgeous. I don't think it's heavy on anything and it has this slight smokiness that really just blends it all together. It's not a smoky fragrance. There's just something about it that gives it that kind of nighttime feel and in terms of who can wear it, because of the class that this exudes, I think anyone that has that vibe can wear it. I don't necessarily think that young people are gonna be into this, but if you want something that's rich and really classy, this is definitely gonna be your vibe. Again, it just reminds me of um, that kind of old school pipe tobacco feel, the sweetness from it, but not the type of pipe tobacco, not the type of like tobacco that you get from um, Guerlain, Lome, Ideal, uh, the EDP. That, I was kind of expecting this and I was hoping for this, not in uh, Herod, not in any of that. This is like, to me, I'm getting like actual pipe tobacco, the sweetness, the everything that kind of comes along with that, it just, immediately like takes me to just a refined individual that is class from head to toe, gives me complete boss vibes. Nothing, when you smell this, this is boss vibes 110%. This is a fragrance that someone with confidence wears. Like it's really sexy to me to be completely honest. As I sprayed on a test strip first and I was like, oh, this is really good. And I put it on the counter and I went to my room, kind of did some stuff. And <laughs> as soon as it was in my living room, which the test strip was closer to the front door, I could smell it. And I was like, oh, that smells really good in the air. Now I'm getting more florals and more of the individual notes as I come closer to it. 
but in the air it's just this beautiful ambery boss fragrance again okay so i think anyone can wear it i think that if you're looking for a more refined fragrance this one's definitely for you but it has sweetness to it so to me if you're looking for something that is really nice really sexy really classy and has a bit of a throwback feel this is definitely it but i was gonna say uh, i think this takes the trophy over seven right now for something that you reach for when you want something super sexy in that kind of like ambery date night category so for me this is definitely an evening fragrance a dressed up fragrance i would not dress this down just because it just has it's too much class i think to, to be dressed down now if you dress up classy fragrances go ahead do you but to me you need to dress this up at least a little bit it's date night it's formal occasion it's if you really are a boss i wouldn't spray too much because it does have happy land performance if you are a boss spray a little bit of this on at work like this is boss vibes 110 percent but don't forget it is a little sexy so keep that in mind that being said in terms of seasons i think this is going to be more of a fall winter spring but in the evening i think you could pull it off in the summer as well so pretty versatile in terms of seasons just i would not wear it in the heat because i think that this would be really cloying which is ironic because i read two bros and i was like oh spring summer no so if you're afraid of tuberose, don't be worried. I actually don't specifically smell tuberose. I still can't specifically smell tuberose and I can usually pick out tuberose. So the florals in here, I would say are expertly blended and it just, it's a really nice fragrance. I mean, I feel like this is probably gonna be one of the best evening fragrances from the House of Happy Land, especially to dress up, specifically to dress up. Um, again seven is really good but yeah this definitely gives seven a run for its money this is a really nice fragrance keep in mind i did say throwback feels not an old school fragrance but you kind of have to like the little bit of that throwback vibe uh but i do think that anyone that's into that throwback vibe is really gonna like this fragrance performance happy land performance it's it's lethal um i, I think this is like a one to two spray type of fragrance especially if you're gonna wear it on a date night you don't want to spray too much i still have a uh discount code with happy land i'm gonna pop that up here and down below this fragrance is available at the happy land site i'll pop it down below as well as always if you've tried this fragrance comment down below you probably haven't uh quite yet remember to like this video if you'd like to be subscribed to my channel hit that notification bell to get notified when i another video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye